Ten years ago, it was just an idea. Now, it is a striking reality. The Cleveland Museum of Contemporary Art will have its grand opening party next weekend. But tonight, you'll get a first look inside of the new permanent home for contemporary art in Cleveland. At the crossroads of Euclid and Mayfield, a gleaming jewel now hugs the southeast corner. It is the new home of the Cleveland Museum of Contemporary Art. We're over a 40-year-old institution, and this is our first permanent home. <laughs> so coming here really is like, I, I said, it's like we, we, we've graduated from college, and we have now launched ourselves as adults into the world, and it feels fabulous. As workers put the finishing touches on the building, no detail is overlooked. Even the floor will be perfect. The art inside is bursting with life. Pieces representing a roster of international artists on display for the museum's grand opening next weekend. I definitely believe that all vital cities have vital contemporary art museums because they symbolize these ideas of risk, innovation, discovery, creativity. Cleveland's Museum of Contemporary Art will be a magnet for creative professionals as it takes its place in university circle the dynamic cultural hub of the city. There's no question that we've come into the cultural heart of Cleveland and what's been so gratifying for us is that not only are we gaining local and regional attention but the spotlight is being shown on MOCA all around the world. We're getting international and national media recognition for uh, this really great building. It is spectacular. MOCA's grand opening gala on Saturday is sold out. Sunday is a free day for museum members. And next Monday afternoon, it's your chance. The museum will be open free to the public. After that, general admission is $8 with reduced rates for seniors and students. It's pretty extraordinary wow, inside. What did you like the, the most space. about it? You know what? Did you see the shot of that big pod yeah. kind of exploding out of the wall on that vine? It was uh, by a Brazilian artist with all kinds of uh, wood from Brazil. And then you look inside, and it's kind of a mashup between the city and Brazil. All the really? like detritus wow. from the streets and all kind of put together. Wow. You could still smell the smoke from the charred edges when I was in there. Yes. It's amazing they got that collection all together yeah. in one spot. Yeah, there's a, it's, it's yeah. really, I encourage you to go see it because it is unique in the city. And I just, I just think the building is, is spectacular. Five